Well, gel manicures are incredibly popular. They make your nails look shiny. They don't chip as fast, lasting longer. But new research is raising concerns about these ultraviolet nail dryers that are used for those gel manicures. Our Paula Tutman spoke to the scientists behind the research and found solutions to reduce the risk. Every two weeks, you can find Marilyn Thibodeau sitting across from Julie Cotton at Salon Enigma in Farmington Hills getting her nails done. I've always done gel. That means the moment she's done, her nails are dry and smudge proof. It's convenient. It's a little bit stronger. It's a little bit thicker. It stays for two to three weeks. It doesn't chip. You can. Go right outside with a pair of gloves on. And then as soon as I put the base coat on, then we're going to get the light. Both are aware of the study recently released by researchers at the University of California, San Diego, that indicates those UV lights in those nail dryers needed to harden and cure that gel polish, kill cells, and alter cell DNA. Dr. Maria Javagi, who did her PhD studies in environmental toxicology and her postdoc work in cancer genomics, also used to get regular gel manicures until she researched the effects of those UV lights on human cells. I put a halt on it. The study used two methodologies, one to gauge acute exposure, the other to gauge cumulative exposure. Without getting too sciency, one group of cells came from a mouse, two groups from human skin cells. The UV machine was the kind anyone can purchase for at-home use, and it turns out that's pretty key to the study. What Dr. Javagi's team found was when cells were exposed twice in quick succession for 20 minutes each, there was a change in the DNA of the cell and also cell death. 20 to 30 percent of cells, uh, which is a lot. Then the other petri dish of cells got the same treatment, but then got exposed again two weeks later. We do observe immediate damage, but we also observe long-lasting damage. What she saw made her quit gel manicures cold. Not all of the cells die. Some of them die, but the remaining stay alive and these can divide and uh, and then get mutations and then this mutation uh, attacks one of your like important genes. For example, genes that are involved in cancer development, this cell can become a cancer cell. But here's the thing, the research was done on mammal cells and now Dr. Javagi says studies must be done on real people to truly gauge how dangerous these exposures could be. And because she used that home version of the dryer, she says the salon versions have much stronger UV rays. A lot of people would like to know if it can lead to cancer or other um, or other health uh, damages. She also suggests that until we do know more, perhaps consider not getting these kinds of manicures quite so often. We kind of did pink this last time. What about purple? Julie and Marilyn say, I have never had anybody stop because of a concern of cancer. As a survivor of cancer, I do, it does give me pause, but I also am like, I'm going to get it done anyway because I like it. I like how it makes me look a little bit more polished. However, Erlene Hall, who was sporting a pretty nice manicure herself, says, I'm concerned about that. Very concerned. Don't know what I'm going to do. I hope I don't have to come down to making a decision on having it or not having it. Dr. Javagi isn't telling women to stop getting these kinds of gel manicures, but because more research is needed, she is saying maybe women should think about getting them less frequently. Also, if you have the home machine, you're more likely to use it more frequently. So she says maybe don't use the home machines. By the way, if you have LED or UV, they're the same, just different intensity of UV light. But you can also find these UV protectant gloves online. I found them on Amazon for really under $20. They help protect your hands, but also SPF sunscreen between 30 and 50. She says that could help. The biggest thing is because this needs more research, she thinks that we need to really pay attention to this. Paula Tutman, Local 4. Really interesting, Paula, we appreciate it. So the next step in studies on actual people. The study's researchers say that could take several more years.